Well, thank you very much. And I am coming to you from the VIP a section at Entebbe International Airport on a day when the government of Uganda has received 335,000 doses of AstraZeneca vaccines from the government of Ireland. Of course, that tops up to an amount, around 5 million uh, doses that have so far been uh, received in the country, but the uptake is still low. Up to 2 million people uh, have received these vaccines. But well, of course, as this vaccines are received, the mobilization task still lies in the hands of the Minister of Health to tell us where now, given the fact that there has been a high turn up of people, uh, you know, receiving vaccines uh, in the central region. According to the State Minister for Primary Health Care, uh, Margaret Mohanga, the task is now spreading to the far ends of the country so that people can also go and receive these vaccines. And the State Minister for Primary Health Care, Margaret Mohanga, joins me this time and welcome with me on NTV. Good afternoon, our viewers, and welcome. To what, what can you tell us from the vaccines that you've just received as a ministry from the government of Ireland? Um, the government of Ireland has given us 335,000 doses of AstraZeneca to really help us um, now roll it out to the people who already took the first dose of AstraZeneca. We have now enough vaccines 3.3 million now in the country um, uh, with, with addition of this one which we received today and we want to ask the people of Uganda to move to these vaccination centers because in Kampala alone we have 89 vaccination centers and we have rolled out in Kampala Metropolitan because that's where the biggest congestion is. We are moving to upcountry stations to the last village of Uganda by the fourth of next month, 4th of October. And so we ask our RDCs, our DHOs, to go out there, make announcements to everybody, because now we have statistics that at least every 99% of Ugandans have a radios at home. And so everybody will be getting this information, which health center to go to. We are using the churches to mobilize people to go to the health centers and pick their vaccinations next week. Uh, Honorable Minister, it is today when some of the vaccines, especially AstraZeneca, was supposed to expire. And the last time we had over 67,000. Can we say there are some that have expired or you were able uh, to uh, call them back or retract so that they've been used and would not see any burn? Um, by the weekend, we were only remaining, that is a, a Saturday, we were remaining with 3,200 doses of AstraZeneca which were to expire tonight. Uh, fortunately, people went to the vaccination centers after the presidential address last week, and now we have zero doses in, 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 in of AstraZeneca, which was to expire today. Well, uh, thank you very much for time purposes. We will leave it there, Honorable Minister, and thank you very much for talking to us. Well, uh, Margaret Mohang is the State Minister for Primary Health Care, just giving us an update on a day when the government of Uganda has received 335 more doses of AstraZeneca vaccines from the government of Ireland, of course. But the mobilization task still remains very key, but the minister has hinted on it, and we hope all goes well. For now, I want to hand over back to you in the studio. A very good afternoon to you and our audience.